Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Auto 5 Fire Friday Mod video. Today there is a huge wildfire burning dangerously close to the city. We're going to be using this Los Angeles Fire Department Air Operation Helicopter along with a new update from Fire Callouts which adds a Bambi bucket into the game. We're able to pick up water from any water source around and drop it onto the fire to put it out. It is so cool and I think you guys are going to love this mod. Let's go ahead and get this video started. All units, we've got a wildfire in Vinewood Hills. All right, all units respawn. We have a major wildfire going on in the Vinewood Hills area. We're going to be responding with the helicopter. And we are up. Okay, so we're gonna go towards the fire. Once we get a little bit closer, I will deploy the Bambi bucket so you guys can see it. Now it's really cool. We're able to refill it, drop uh, water onto the fire. We could fill up from any body of water in the game, whether that's the ocean, obviously, or the lakes. We can even use pools and stuff like that. So maybe we'll steal some water from somebody's pool and try to put the fire out, but. This is going to be pretty intense. Once we get a little bit closer, we'll see how crazy this fire is burning. Up, oh, I see the smoke. It's going to be to our right. All right, so we have a lot of pools nearby. <laughs> I'm thinking we may take water from the pools. We also have the reservoir up top that we could take water from. So we're going to be on scene. It looks like we have some fire trucks. Basically has the area surrounded. This is going to be a hard one. You know what we should do? We should probably call in for a, a plane too. Yeah, let's request a water bomber aircraft just to help us out. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, whoa, coming in hot. <laughs> okay, so we are now on scene. The battalion chief says we need to protect the houses. It looks like they want us uh, to come in from the north. Okay, so we're going to deploy the Bambi bucket now. So let's do that. We just open up our menu. And there it is. All right, so you guys can see the baby bucket. You can see it looks like it has water in it. Very, very cool. So uh, let's get ready for our first drop. We're gonna have to make sure we don't get hit by that airplane. Let's see if we can find a nice spot of fire. Here we go, right up there. See if we can hit this. A little low. Alright, I'm dropping. Okay, we got a hit on some of it. So now the bucket is empty. We need to find some water. Oh, holy smokes. That was not supposed to happen. See, this is why normally they don't all operate at the same time. That was crazy. I don't know how we didn't get more <laughs> damage than that. All right. Um, the reservoir is kind of far away, so let's just take from this person's pool. Let's borrow some water from them. Yo, that was crazy. <laughs> I cannot believe we didn't just completely blow up. I forgot, I need to change that um, water bomber to the CL415. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta change that control too. I just attached to the fire truck. Look at these people here. They're like, uh, what's going on? Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Alright, bucket is full. So we can go in for another pass. Watch out for the other plane. So this is a pretty intense fire. It's honestly gonna take us a little while. All 
I'm just looking to see who has the biggest pool that we can take water from. Oh, let's try it from here. <laughs> I feel bad for anybody that's on a lawn chair right now. They're about to get tossed and turned all over the place. So when the water, uh, the Bambi bucket is empty, you can still see the water in it. Um, this is still in beta, by the way, I forgot to mention that. Um, this is all in beta. So um, in the future, there's gonna be two different models, one for when it's full and then one for when it's empty. So that once we drop water, it will switch and then it'll look like it's empty. But for now, it always looks like it's full, but honestly, that is not even a big deal. Um, I just want to say, as always, huge thank you to Panos for all the work he did. Also, shout outs to the PW Parks fan who came up with the uh, bucket as well. Looks awesome. And I've been having a fun time using Fire Callouts. And I always say, if you guys want to check it out, feel free to. You can uh, get early access to this by joining Panos' Patreon page, which is linked down below. Oh, that was a, that was that one was a mix. I don't think I hit anything with that pass. But yeah, definitely check out Fire Callouts. You can find it on LSPDFR if you want to try the free version. But the Patreon version, it has all the work in progress stuff, which you could check out and try it out early before it's released, which is what we're doing. I think we're gonna have to request a brush truck to get out here and help us out. It's also funny because I had tried to do this a couple years ago. Um, I tried to like use a random object and make it look like we were dropping water and it looked crazy like looking back at it, it was like wow what the heck was I thinking but I mean I was trying to you know make my own not really make my own bambi book but I was trying to just use what we had available at the time and it was so funny because honestly it, it did not look I mean it looked okay but it was like obviously not realistic but it, oh my goodness it's so cool to actually have the proper equipment now. Oh, I dropped a bucket on a lawn chair. Good thing nobody was sitting there. <laughs> Everybody running for their lives. <laughs> it looks like that lady was filming us on her phone. You can also configure like how much water you want it to drop, drop. So if you want to make it so that you can carry more water, you can. But it's pretty set up. It's set up to be somewhat realistic. So I think that's a good amount of time. Basically, you have about five seconds of water once you hit the drop button.
Alright, I think that was a good hit there. We got another pool right down here. I'll see if we can grab from this one. I'm also calling for some more fire trucks to help us out because we're not really making too much progress, honestly. So let's call for some fire trucks. Hopefully, they can get a little bit closer. Oh, this person's in this pool right now. Sorry, bro. I got to take some water from you. Hey, he's running. Yeah, in real life, everything would be flying right now. That was a hard one. Yeah, trying to look down definitely makes it a little bit more difficult. I can only, I don't like, I really don't even know how they do this in real life. It's crazy because they got to do this, obviously. We're only the first person to view. Let's hit this little spot right here. Oh, a little bit of it actually went out. Nice. We got a little creek over here. I don't think we can really get much water out of this, but I just want to try it just to see what happens. I, actually, this is really shallow water, so this is probably not a good idea, but it technically should still work just because of the way it's designed. Oh, I thought he was about to get hit again. Okay, so realistically, th you would not do this because there's like no, this water's not deep enough. It's too shallow. But it does work. Yes. <laughs> got lions. Oh my god, I actually just picked up an aircraft. I mean, a vehicle again. The fire trucks ever get on? Oh yeah, they're standing there. They're not doing anything though. I need to climb up in there to put this fire out. My buck is basically on the ground. I 
another cool thing too in the future in a future update you're gonna be able to request um, backup units to also come and drop water with the Bami bucket just like how they do with the plane so we can have multiple helicopters operating should be pretty cool so I think this is gonna be our last drop and then we're probably gonna just clear the call because it's gonna take us a little while there's a smaller brush fire too. I did that one earlier um, before I started recording just to test this out. And even that small one took a while to put out. So I figured this large, like actual wildfire would be <laughs> really hard to put out. Oh, I messed up. Well, I hit it. Oh, uh, some of it went out. Yes, a little bit of it went out. Oh, what, what, what was that? <laughs> it sounded like my engine completely cut off for a second. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, we did not need to lose our engines right now. Alright, I'm gonna try to just focus on this area right next to the house. Let's see if we can just put that out. I would call it a success if this area is out. We got a little spot over here to our right. I don't even see it, but yeah, let's see let's see if we can just focus on this spot right here. If this spot we can get out, I say we can uh, clear the scene. Hey, no, 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 no. Ah, I think I completely missed that one. There's a little fire burning right there too. We gotta try to knock out. Hey guys, let me know what you guys think about this update. Um, we have some more helicopters that we can use it with. So if you guys want to see me fight some more fires, let me know. There's also a wildfire in uh, near Polito Bay that we can respond to. And then there's a brush fire on the east side of Los Santos that we can also respond to. So we can try out some of the other helicopters if you guys like. I'm going to knock out this little... Oh, there's actually two pieces burning right here. Oh wait, no, it went out, it went out. Yes, it went out. It was a failure, but it did go out, so I guess it's not. So yeah, it, it's possible to put out the fire. You just gotta be really patient. Patient and careful with your drops. Picked up the fire truck back, so. Okay, we got one little spot burning right here. I say we did our job though, because our main job was to protect this house, which is protected. There's not really much burning. Oh, I missed it. Okay, yeah, that part's out. Okay, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. So let's try to hit that large fire now. By the way guys, I just remembered, um, I, I wanted to tell you guys, I have made a new channel, it's called Ace on Demand, 
if you guys want to go check it out i'll link it in the top right so basically what i'm doing on this new channel is i'm posting like highlights and clips funny moments uh, whether it's from a video or a live stream anything crazy that happened kind of like when we got hit by the plane today stuff like that so i'm putting those clips together and posting them on that channel so if you guys would like to see quick funny videos stuff oh man <laughs> yeah if you want to see like quick videos funny videos that aren't long go check out that channel again it's going to be called ace on demand and it's just going to be like fun and quick videos mostly uh probably like five minutes or less i actually i think most of the fire is out guys for real like i was gonna f just force in the call but i think we really got most of the fire out at this point that plane definitely helped us out so okay we gotta hit this right here I'm not seeing much fire at all. I have a lot of smoke, but honestly, it's like, oh, here's some fire over here. Let's go fill up in the ocean, just cause. Oh wait, we go actually go to this lake. Oh, this is a cemetery. I don't want to go to the cemetery. Let's go to the ocean. So you gotta be a little bit careful when you're flying because you can accidentally swing it too high into your rotor and kill yourself. Any of you guys watched the Pacific Air Show yesterday? Well, yesterday got canceled on Saturday. I, I, it was actually streaming on Hulu and I was watching it. It was pretty cool. I saw some of it. I wanted to actually go back and watch it on Sunday, but the Sunday one ended up getting canceled because of an oil spill, unfortunately. Which sucks for the environment, the animals, the fish. Hopefully they're able to clean that up and it doesn't harm the environment too much. I did see that they said it's already killing a lot of fish and um, birds that were washing up, unfortunately. That was a good hit. Alright guys, I'm not seeing any more fire, but that last spot, so I'm thinking maybe one more hit and we are completely done. As always, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button, leave some comments down below, subscribe if you are new, also hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. And also, guys, like I said, check out my second channel, Ace on the Man. Honestly, it's not even my second channel. I made so many channels lately, but that's the one I'm working on the most right now. So go show it some love. 
see if we can hit a thousand subscribers on it today. That would be awesome. Alright, where was that last spot at? Up oh, right here, I see it. Ah, there's two spots actually. Uh, can I hit both with one pass? I line it up. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Seen it? Anything? You guys see any more fire? Looks like the fire is extinguished. We're getting a cold floor. Smoke is starting to clear. Awesome. All right, guys. So fire is under control. We we're able to take care of that situation. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.